What's up, guys? What's, what's up, up, guys? <laughs> what, 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 what's up, guys? What's up, guys? For real, it's Cash. You're at Lost Art Magic. I'm with my friend Amber, and today we'll be reacting, and I'm also going to be trying to do these DIY magic tricks on a page called Troom Troom. I did not know about them. She kind of brought it up to me and uh, found out that their videos are pretty cringy and they do a lot of magic type videos, so I figured that'd be a good thing to watch. And yeah. We're just gonna put it on this big screen and we're gonna go at it. Yeah. We had already watched the video of theirs. <laughs> we did. We watched one. I. It was bad. I think we got halfway through and I was just. Uh, <laughs> it's bad. They just posted a new video yesterday. So yes. Let's just hop into the video. Already I'm just. <laughs> oh god. Like that wasn't even a magic trick. <laughs> Yo, okay, I know they're stealing they're stealing magic because I saw someone do that trick on a YouTube video a long ass time ago and I know it was his I know it was his idea and it's not on the market so they watched that video and definitely are teaching it. Oh no. Are we exposing them right now? Yeah we're fing exposing oh, them. <laughs> true, true, what are you doing? <laughs> I punched my finger and I am bleeding. Get those nails out of me. Do not rush to call an ambulance. This is just an ordinary joke. Here's how to make See, okay, and that's the one. I know they didn't even explain this shit. They're calling the magic trick a joke. Like, why do people do that? Why <laughs> like it's a prank or something. Do you know how often I've been performing and, oh, they've been like, oh, cute joke. Okay, it doesn't happen <laughs> anymore, really, because, you know, people believe I have powers. But you know what? The point is, is that I've gotten it before. And that's annoying. It's not a joke. No. It's not a joke. It's actual magic. It's real magic. Yeah. Those are actually through her nails right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, let's find out. But first, how do you think that works? Um, I'm curious. I don't know how she's gonna perform it. True, that's, the, that's <laughs> a whole nother like. If she just has it there, I assume like that she cut a nail in half and she kind of put it on like some pre wrapped yeah. bandage and like stuck it in with like red paint or something. I'm not gonna give them that much credit to say that before they teach this that they actually like show them pushing it through. I feel like she walks up and she's like, oh my goodness, I got yeah, this like, So it's like, not even a magic trick. It's isn't just it? like a gag. Okay, but you just started off 19 magic tricks that you can do with a gag. That, that is see, that, How are you gonna do that to your audience? All right, I don't even, I just wanna see how it works. They're clickbaiting to the max. Here's how to make a nailed finger without going to the joke store. <laughs> you need nails, a piece of bandage, and a red marker. Cut the nails in half with pliers. I'm not crafting this I one. I told you. I'm not crafting I this I told one. you they cut it in half. Okay. Yeah, I mean, whatever. Wait, wait, by the way, this thumbnail. <laughs> See, totally. oh my, that is such clickbait. They're like trying to tell you like that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> and then I like how that's the first trick too, and it's still not even a trick. Like they expected a trick where you mm -hmm. could just like. All of their thumbnails are like that. All right, here we go. Just <laughs> completely. Wind the bandage on the finger, attaching it with hot glue on both sides. Draw a bloody dot with the marker. Insert the half of the nail with the cap into the bandage using hot glue. Ew, that actually looked like she pushed it through her finger. <laughs> that was a trick right there. Yeah. Draw a red dot and attach a sharp part of the nail to it on the back of the finger. Everything is ready for the prank. It's time to scare your friends a little. It's time to scare your friends a little. <laughs> Just, a little Just a little bit. Because they'll figure out that it's like not real. If you have to surprise, then make a show out of it. Connect the rope with a ring. With a ring. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, pause it. I got you. I you got, got that you. One? Yeah. This is a charger? Yeah. Before we watch it, I'm assuming. Oh, this is actually gonna reveal it now that I think about it. Oh, shit. That's gonna actually reveal wait, how it what works. What is that? Wait, do that again. I need to see it on the camera. I'm gonna pass this through my neck. Okay. Ready? Like this. One, two. Ah. Ah. That was easy to figure out. Well, oh, but you didn't figure it out when she did it? <laughs> no. All right. She just did it. Wait, 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 wait. No, I don't know how you did it. <laughs> what? Okay, Wait. come on, you can do it. 
I don't know what it is. <laughs> you fucking do it. Like, you're <laughs> I completely choke myself. Stretch it in front of you and try to pass the rope through the neck. It works! What's the secret? Intercept discreetly the edge of the ring behind the neck and pull it aside like this. You just watched me do it, and mine is better because this is more organic. You're not going to be with your friends and have just a string like that ready. Are you going to go, okay, guys, you ready? And pull out this string tied. Yeah, no, because that's a charger. Exactly. Okay. You're like, yo, let me see your charger. And you're like, all right, here, we're going to tie it together. And then they freak out because you're going to ruin it probably. And then you're <laughs> like, watch, I'm just going <clears> to <throat> right through my neck. Organic is the way to go. Yes. It looks very impressive. The rosy apple magically changes its colors and turns bright green. How is this? Wow, okay, hold on. Can we play that back one more time? I saw what they did. They are fake as fuck for this. <laughs> Apple magically changes its colors and turns bright green. What? Okay, if they didn't edit that in any way. That looks like it was edited. Like, I have methods to make that work. You need a green apple and a red balloon. Cut off the narrow end of the balloon. Pull the balloon on the apple, leaving a small area open. Show a red apple to the viewer and then hide it in the palm of your hands. <laughs> <laughs> that is so good. Remove the apple from the camouflage suit. The apple has turned green. Is it not a miracle? I can do it. I can do it. Apple. Wait. Apple. Oh. Wait. Oh. Wait. <laughs> You're fake. I see it in your hand. To two. <gasps> Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> Can balloons withstand your weight? Yes, if you know how to approach this problem. Okay, first of all, I remember I was in elementary school and they're like, oh, here's science. <laughs> here's science, but they have like the magic light. Like, yeah, yeah, no, here's science. Put four balloons on the floor. Cover them with a wide plastic tray. Stand on the tray with your feet. Do you think this is magic? No. no. For sure. Where's the magic trick? Do you see the magic trick? No! No! <laughs> it's Where? nowhere to be found! Where's the magic? <laughs> it's time for a trick which will get your friends so impressed that they will take some time to come to their senses. To come to their senses. <laughs> we... <laughs> she looks so nonchalant after like... <laughs> like she's so used to doing that. With one sniff of the nose, you will definitely draw an elastic band into yourself. Impressive, isn't it? Here's the secret. This is a very classic trick. Do you know how it works? Putting up your nose? Yeah. Let's watch their explanation. Oh. And I'm going to give you a better explanation. Right. Wind the elastic band around your hand, pinching the edge with your fingers, and bring it to your nose. Let go of the band, noisily sucking in the air. The elastic band disappears without a trace somewhere in the bowels of the sleeve. Okay, so they're using sleeves and stuff. I'm going to give you a couple tips on how to do this trick much better. Okay. All right. Start off, if you want to do this without sleeves, definitely have a whole bunch of rubber bands on your wrist. So they can't distinguish that. Like if you had one rubber band on your wrist and you went and did that trick, it'd be kind of obvious probably. Twist one of them like this. So it acts as two rubber bands. You have a double rubber band. You call attention to the rubber bands and you can take one off your wrist, right? So now they assume that it's one, but you're already to go here. So now you're actually losing a rubber band. They could count these before. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six. So you'd be, just be like, Whoa. and now you have five rubber bands. I mean, that's better than what they did. Yeah. And now here's a new application. Click on the screen and the objects around fly away in different directions. So I think that she has something behind a phone. Maybe. My friend Kaylin definitely did a trick like this in one of his old YouTube videos, and it was awesome. I guarantee they are not the same method. Well, of course, there is no such program yet. You just wound the fishing line on the neck of the bottle and attached it to your finger. Easy movement of the hand and the bottle falls backwards. Simple, but interesting. Like, they get themselves into positions where they have to start ready. They're not coming up to you and being like, hey. Yeah, they're not showing, like, the prep of, like, getting ready for the they're trick. They're literally just like, here's the trick. Oh, you have a thread on your sleeve. Let me take it away. Your friend is going to be infinitely surprised because this thread has no end. Wait, so 
who was the magician there? Was the trick like, hey, you have a string, and they just keep pulling a string out of their jacket, or do they have to wait for a friend to say something? I think the one with the sweater is the magician. An obvious thread that doesn't even go with the jacket. At least have a blue thread. I feel like, if personally, I saw like a thread on like your jacket or something. I'd probably pull on it and, and like try to take it off, but if I saw it, I kept pulling, <laughs> I would stop because I think I was breaking your. Yeah. I wouldn't continue and be like, "What's all this thread doing?" Because I'm not stupid. Like I don't want to. I'm, I'm gonna think I'm ripping your. Yeah, jacket. you don't want to unravel it. For this innocent prank, you need a spool of thread, a needle, and a mini pencil. Wind the thread around the pencil. Insert the end of the thread into the eye of the needle. Pass the needle with the thread through the fabric of a sleeve of a contrasting color. They're the reasons why people just assume magicians use sleeves all the time. This is like their third trick utilizing where you need to have a sleeve for a trick to work. So after watching these trim trim videos, there is no way that me or I'm assuming Amber would recommend you go watch them. If you're trying to learn magic at least, don't go to If you want, if you want a, a laugh, take them. a shot every time they make a weird infliction. Why didn't we do that? Because this is part one with them, part two. Oh, okay. Part two, <laughs> we'll do I hope you enjoyed that video. Tune in next time when I come back. It'll probably be a tutorial or another react video. If you like this video, go ahead and leave some comments below and let me know if you enjoyed it. And uh, Amber also has a YouTube page. It's in the description below. Until next time, guys. Cash out. Thanks for watching. Smash that like button. Yeah. Smash that subscribe button. Smash it all. Oh my god. We need to shut this off now. <laughs> no, I'm just